Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. We have breakfast, we have lunch, and we have a healthy energy filled sweet treat, dessert, whatever you want to use it for. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and you're not going to want to miss them. Down in the description box you will find nutrition coaching. I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss following personalized macros and calories. Definitely recommend if you haven't had yours done, have them done so you can reach your weight loss goals as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. It's wonderful. Come join us. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making a cheesy potato breakfast casserole. I've been craving a breakfast bake and this is going to be packed with protein. So let me show you what you'll need. Also, this is a very simple recipe. So I'm using the Amy Lou chicken sausage links. You can use turkey sausage, chicken sausage. You could even do ground turkey or ground chicken and season it to your liking. But I have these in my freezer, so I'm going to use those. You'll need an onion, milk of your choice. As always, I use Fairlife for the added protein. Eggs, diced frozen hash browns, reduced fat cheese of your choice. I'm opting for sharp cheddar and some salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my chopped up sausage. I use that entire pack, which is six servings. Each serving is three links. And then I chopped up my onion. I have a skillet on medium heat sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. Now the sausages are pre-cooked, but I'm going to let them warm through and get these onions nice and cooked. Go ahead and grab out a large bowl. Here's our cooked sausage and onions. I'm going to add those to the bowl. And then we're adding half of a cup of Fairlife milk, salt and pepper, our bag of frozen diced hash browns. I'm going to give that just a quick stir before we add in our eggs and our cheese. Now we're going to crack in seven whole eggs. Now we're going to use the whole bag of light cheese, two cups, but we're going to add one cup or half of the bag to the casserole mix and then stir that together until everything is mixed through. About a nine by 13 baking dish, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we're going to add the casserole mixture to the bottom of the dish, and then spread that out nice and even. We're putting our casserole in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes, then we'll pull it out and top it with the rest of our cheese. So I took the breakfast casserole out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and top it with the last cup of the light cheese and then we'll toss it back in the oven for about 10 minutes or so just until the cheese is melted. So here's the completed breakfast casserole. This looks so good. It's all bubbly and yummy. Again, packed with protein. We have some healthy fats. We have some healthy carbohydrates. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making burrito bowls. They are chicken burrito bowls, but I'm actually going to use ground turkey. You could use chicken breast. You could do whatever protein you want. So let me show you what you'll need. So I'm going to be using 93.7 ground turkey. I like the little bit of added fat to this. The 99 can be kind of dry. And since this is a really low point, low calorie lunch, I'm going to do the 93.7. And then you'll need frozen corn, taco seasoning, fresh cilantro and a lime. We are making cilantro lime rice, or in my case, quinoa, guacamole, salsa, black beans, and I have some quinoa going in my little dash rice cooker. I love this thing. It makes perfect rice, quinoa, bulgur, you name it. It comes out perfect every time and you literally throw it in there, turn it on and be done with it. So I'm, I love this. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook down my ground turkey with my taco seasoning, get this nice and cooked all the way through. So my quinoa is all cooked, so I have two cups total of quinoa. I'm going to add in my cilantro. I'm basically making cilantro lime quinoa instead of cilantro lime rice. You could do either one. And then I'm going to squeeze in a whole lime. Give that a quick stir, and then I'm going to add in just a little bit of salt. 
And then stir that all together and our cilantro lime quinoa is ready. Let's go ahead and put together these burrito bowls. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one third cup of that cilantro lime quinoa to a storage container and then one quarter cup of corn. You can do frozen or you can do canned corn. A quarter cup of drained and rinsed black beans. And then the recipe makes four bowls. So we may have some leftovers, but I'm going to put a quarter of the ground turkey. I'm really going to focus on this as my main source of protein. And then when I go to eat my lunch, I'm going to top it with some salsa and some guacamole. I may even add a little bit of sour cream, but there is our turkey burrito bowl. Again, you could do chicken, you could do ground beef. I'm going to put together three more and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my lunch meal prep for the week. I have to admit I'm really excited for this. We have an amazing carbohydrate in the quinoa, lots of fiber in those beans, carbs in the corn, and lots of protein. And then adding some guacamole is a healthy fat, and then some salsa for some flavor. I went ahead and made up four containers. I did have leftover quinoa, and I had about a quarter cup, about a third of a cup leftover black bean. So I'm going to go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a snack this week, I'm making key lime energy balls. I'm so excited for these. Let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need cashews. Mine are from Nutstop. Any dry roasted or even plain unsalted cashew would work. You'll need some medjool dates, a couple of fresh limes, salt, almonds of your choice. I'm going to use sliced almonds just because this is what I have on hand. Unsweetened flaked coconut. I will tell you that the Trader Joe's is the lowest calorie, lowest point option for unsweetened flaked coconut. And then you're going to need coconut oil. So into your food processor, I have this moss and stone. I bought this on Amazon recently. I really, really like this. Super affordable. It is a smaller food processor, but it's perfect for these types of recipes. I will link that for you as well. I'm not going to add my almonds almonds only because I'm using sliced. If you're using whole almonds, add those in at the beginning of processing. We are going to add in a quarter cup of cashews and half of a cup of the coconut flakes. And then we're just going to process this down until it's chopped into small pieces. This is about the size of it. I'm going to go ahead and add the nut mixture along with my sliced almonds to a bowl and set that aside. And then I'm going to add 10 pitted dates to my food processor and then pulse those until a paste is formed. And then we're going to add back in the nut and coconut mixture and then pulse that until fully combined. And then we're adding one teaspoon of coconut oil. And then I'm going to zest in one fresh lime. And then we're going to add the juice of both limes. And then pulse one more time until combined. And then we're just going to roll out our little energy balls. The recipe calls for 15. I'm just going to wing it. These are super low point and calories, so if I get less than 15 out of my mix, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to roll them into about the si about a tablespoon size. So I ended up with three, six, nine, 11 energy balls. I try the, a little piece of these, oh my gosh, they're so good, they're so full of flavor. Lime, the, nut, the nuts add a really good texture, delicious. So I'm going to package these up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here are the key lime energy balls. Make sure you put a piece of parchment, foil, saran wrap in between the layers so that they don't stick together. You can either store these in your refrigerator for one to two weeks or in your freezer for up to three months. But oh my gosh, these are so good. I'm definitely having one of these later today. So I'll put the points, calories, and macros for 11 on the screen. I'll also put the points on the screen if you ended up making 15. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. Don't forget all three of today's recipes are on my recipe website. I will put that at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us again. We would absolutely love to have you. I hope today's meal prep helps you have a healthy, successful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.